Hi, my name's Noelle. I'm a health educator with WVU's Family Nutrition Program, and today we're here at the Capital Market so that we can make some fruit-infused water. We're gonna go grocery shopping and pick up some fresh ingredients, see if they have everything we need to make apple cinnamon water and watermelon rosemary water. So here we are in the FNP kitchen and we're going to make some apple and cinnamon water and some watermelon and rosemary water. I picked Honeycrisp apples just because I know they're super sweet. You can pick any kind of apple you prefer and I'm just going to cut it up. There's no specific way to cut it up. You cut it up however you like. I'm going to cut mine in half first and then put the flat side down that way it doesn't roll anywhere on me. And then I'm just going to cut it into slices. Don't have to worry about the seeds because we're not actually going to eat the apple. It's just going to go in the water. So you probably already know that you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day, right? But how do you do that without feeling like you're punishing yourself? Well, one of the ways you can do that is by making fruit infused water. It's fruit, not fruit juice, but water with fruit and, min and herbs in it that give it a little extra flavor so that it's not so much of a chore to eat or drink. All right, so my apples are all cut up, so I'm gonna put them in this pitcher. And then I'm gonna throw in two cinnamon sticks. One cinnamon stick for every gallon of water that I'm doing. If you don't have cinnamon sticks and you wanna use ground cinnamon, it's a, one cinnamon stick equals a half a teaspoon. So this one is done. And ideally, we will let this sit in the fridge for a while, um, even overnight. And it'll be some yummy apple and cinnamon infused water. For this one, we're gonna make watermelon and rosemary. I've already chopped up the watermelon so you don't have to watch me struggle to cut that big old thing. And I'm just gonna put these pieces in here. And if you don't have one of these fancy water dispensers, don't worry about it. You can make this in any pitcher you've got. There's a the watermelon. And then I've got a couple of sprigs of, stro of rosemary. It doesn't matter quite how much on this. You just throw in a couple of sprigs and you're good to go. Again, let it sit for a little bit um, or even overnight to get the full flavor. And there we have two yummy waters. The great thing about fruit infused water is you can use any recipe you can make up. Whatever kinds of fruits you like, strawberry and blueberries, throw them in there. Uh, apples and oranges, sure, why not? Uh, bananas, eh, maybe. Give it a try, let us know what you think. Um, we even have somebody here at the office who likes pineapple and jalapeno. Give it your best combination and let us know what you've come up with. <laughs>